is going on guys it's yoji in this video i want to predict five nerfs for the upcoming path of exile expansion and league uh, that will come with the balance patch in 3.13 now these won't be like hot takes out of the way crazy predictions these are things that i think are most likely to get nerfed and these are five predictions that i think i'm pretty certain will get the hammer by chris wilson in the upcoming update now if you like watching this channel Feel free to subscribe because it's uh, free to subscribe. First up we got Call of Steel. Now Call of Steel is part of a build that uses Ground Slam to create insanely large impales and uses the Impaler Keystone to create five of them at the same time. So essentially you buff your character up with War Cries, Phase Run and so on to do one humongous hit that will impale the enemy for five humongous impale stacks. Then you use Call of Steel, which is actually an ability that is granted to you by the steel skills such as Lancing or Splitting Steel. Once you equip them, you get the skill and it, the skill allows you to draw all the impales out of nearby enemies and explode the damage that is stored in them at the same time. Now when you use them with the steel skills, which are like fast hitting, splitting pro projectile skills, it's not that crazy, but if you use one humongous slam, which ground slam is used for, you can actually one-shot all bosses in the game, it seems, on not that high of a budget, and that's a pretty good candidate for a nerf, as the interaction of using Call of Steel with different skills, especially these huge slams, doesn't really seem intended to me and a lot of other people, so I think this is a pretty safe prediction of this going to get nerfed. My take on it is that it will probably get nerfed in the way that you can't use Call of Steel with other skills than the steel skills that they, the skill is granted by anymore, which I think is a reasonable thing to do. Second on my list is Blade Vortex. Now a lot of you probably really love this skill as it has been insanely popular and much beloved as a playstyle for many patches now, but it is kind of getting a bit too popular because it's such an easy skill to use, it's insanely cheap to scale and get started with if you start out by a, for example, Assassin Poison variant or even Archmage works as well. And then you later scale it into an elemental conversion such as fire or cold conversion to make it endgame viable and able to clear every content in the game on a very smooth and easy to play playstyle. Unleash really gave this skill a tool to um, give you this like you cast once and then you dash through the map exploding everything using for example an explody chest which is insanely strong with the conversion later on to just nuke screens of enemies while just simply dashing or uh, shield charging through packs of en enemies and everything just just explodes and dies you can even do uh, the reliably on a higher budget with this skill uh, tier uh, 16 plus fully delirious maps which is probably the hardest farmable content in the game right now and uh, i think it might get a bit of an imbalance adjustment next patch. Now what I think they will adjust is maybe the early game scaling, especially with the poison uh, archetype that is just on absolutely no budget, is just really, really, really strong uh, right now as a league start and thus very popular, because the build just ticks too many boxes with the ease of play, with the farmable stuff, even as great single target for a mapping build. Um, so I think the poison variant might get a few nerfs. Maybe they will touch Assassin too, but my prediction is that Blade Vortex itself will get some nerfs, as it is also very strong not only on Assassin, but things as a Scion, um, as an Occultist, as a Chieftain, you can do it as a Pathfinder. It's just a bit too versatile in my opinion, and I think GGG might agree with this next patch and give it the hammer. Number 3 on my list, Syndicate Operative Spectres. Now, Syndicate Operatives are Spectres that you can get from the Syndicate safe houses, and they're Spectres that have uh, like a really weird interaction where they trigger spells when they use an attack or trigger attacks when they use a spell, and it's really hard to understand what this even is, something that players simply cannot do, and therefore they get to abuse, for example, Spell Echo in a crazy way where... Um, they still echo their spells and therefore trigger attacks, but the less damage multiplied to spells basically doesn't affect their DPS at all. And uh, these Spectres are just way too scalable and way too crazy, and Spectres themselves have been dominating the meta for maybe a bit too long now, especially the minion meta. Um, and I think that maybe they nerf the Spectre gem, but I don't think they will do it next patch. I think the Spectre gem as a whole will stay untouched for at least one more patch, and instead they will go after the popular Spectres, which will be Syndicate Operatives, um, as they their interactions seem a bit unintended and a bit um, like too strong and weird, and not quite something that is supposed to happen with skills of, of minions. Uh, I can also see them uh, touching the uh, Frost Auto Scouts, but I think Syndicate Operatives is 
quite a bit more likely in my opinion. Number four on the chopping block, uh, as I like to call it, carrying golems. Yeah, another minion build. Um, minions have been really strong, but carrying golems are actually the most played. Uh, is the most played skill on the ladder right now. If you go to Pee Wee Ninja and Softcore Heist. Um, and I think the reason for that is that you can make a carrion golem build fairly cheaply and really strong and you can AFK farm blighted maps with this and that's normally a playstyle that GGG probably are not too fond of where you can just go into a blighted map start the, the encounter and the carrion golems will clear the encounter while you have AFK because they are aggressive and they just take out everything and if your build is strong enough you don't even have to be there which is honestly not a healthy farming loop to have in the game so I would think uh, GGG will that yeah, basically yeah cut that out and I and we'll have to do something about this playstyle because it kind of feels like legalized botting which is as I said not a good thing to have in the game so carrying golems definitely up for the nerf hammer and number five is something probably a lot of you expected earlier to be nerfed and that's aura stacking so why do I expect the nerf now now aura stacking has seen a few slight and bigger nerfs even mid league and it's still top of the meta. It's still the best build you can do on a high investment scale. Now, of course, it takes hundreds of Exalted Orbs to make this build work and make it great. But if you have hundreds of Exalted Orbs, there's no better way to invest these than this R stacking archetype, which does uh, well, enables a variety of skills. So the playstyles can be quite different, but the passive tree is always the exact same. So it's not that interesting to make this build. It's still cool because you can invest a lot and you can min max a lot and you can really like tweak some some minor buffs here and there get a little bit of extra mana reserved here and there so i think aura stacker will get nerfed because it's been good in delirium it's been good in harvest it's been good in heist and the meta would just get stale for those people especially who just play a lot and have a lot of currency they'll eventually get bored and these people are important to uh path of exile because those are the people who've been playing a lot and um probably also get a lot of empty access and that type of stuff so i would assume that catering to these players is important still now of course if you're just a player who plays like a few exalted or uh, cheap builds every now and then you're basically not affected by this maybe indirectly by the economy changing but that's really all there is now how do i think this will get nerfed i think there are like two likely ways the first one would be uh, addressing the medium cluster jewel that is uh the aura effect uh, medium cluster jewel type Gives you aura effect on all the small nodes. Uh, aura stackers have these in every single voices jewel they have, so that they have uh, three per voices, and three voices in total I think is pretty normal. So nine of them, and they all have six passives. That's like so much aura effectiveness, which is this build is built on. Plus, of course, the notables on there as well. So I think they either address these, make them a lot weaker, or what they could also do, shift the aura, um, the aura effect no uh, notable type, or like the, the jewel type, from medium to large for example that would still allow aura effectiveness to scale but voices wouldn't be uh, basically unusable for any other build at this point because if you are getting like low point voices jewels at that investment it's only really worth it if you're playing aura stacking but voices could be a jewel that other builds could use and there's some builds like ignite for example is really good because they need a lot of medium jewels could use voices but they won't because it's just stupid expensive and the second way they could nerf it, in my opinion, is changing how reduced mana reserved works. Now, how it currently works is it's, it's just a flat reduced uh, percentage that just additively stacks. And the more you get, the better it is, basically. So what you could do instead is have, a, have like maybe a multiplicative scaling or just turn all the sources of it down. That could also work. Because right now, if you get to like 80%, 50%, 60%, 80%, I don't know how much you can actually get mana reserved, all your auras it's so much cheaper uh, it's like an insanely strong stat so maybe that could also see a nerf i can see maybe they do both maybe, maybe they do one of the things but i think aura stacking will definitely be brought down a notch now if this will be enough to get it out of the meta i don't know how can i know this is just a prediction um but i think they will definitely take it down quite a bit and with that, the video concludes. Feel free to check out my merchandise below. There's some funny SSF, by the way, stuff down there as well. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters who enabled me to keep making this content. Also, put up my green screen, by the way, as you can see. It looks like super professional, high quality right now, I hope. Uh, until then, I'm Yoji, and I will see you in the next one.